To our top story tonight at 6. Ahead of Georgia's legislative session, voters had an opportunity to express their thoughts on expanding gambling in the state. Atlanta Motor Speedway already has plans drafted for a casino resort, and today the racetrack hosted a public hearing to hear what lawmakers and voters have to say. 41 NBC's Tanya Motorzinski has more. Middle Georgia lawmakers I spoke with say they are working hard to get gambling on the ballot in May. The thought of expanding gambling to casinos, horse and sports betting has voters split down the middle. Let's not lose this. As the 2020 legislative session is about to begin, a hot topic is expanding gambling in Georgia to include casinos and horse race betting. Atlanta Motor Speedway already has plans to add to the racetrack, a casino resort. It will include water parks, a concert venue, nightclub, and more. So this will be going on in our backyard, and we are excited about it. Milledgeville Representative Rick Williams is not a gambler, but with a potential $1 billion to the state's treasury, he says how can you not be in favor of casinos? To be going toward health care and to be going toward education, then certainly it, uh, it, it piques your interest as to what exactly could happen. Representative Dale Washburn agrees with Williams and says he'd love to see revenue go towards health care. I believe that uh, health care continues to be a big need for us and it is a uh, uh, something that we should consider. And so I, my, my personal inclination is to favor putting it toward health care. A big part of it anyway. Voters like Juan aren't against it, but have concerns about the impact a resort will have on racing. With all the events that are running, pretty much casinos and the water parks and the tourists and all that stuff running 24-7, how is that going to kind of impact some of the driver events that are going to continue to go on here? While other voters in construction and hospitality are excited about employment opportunities. There are no jobs here to fit what I do. And knowing that there is an opportunity here to, to have a job here, I think would fix my transportation problem. Before lawmakers can vote to have gambling on the ballot, they will need to vote to amend the Constitution. Now they will need two-thirds vote for it to go through. Reporting in Hampton, Tanya Motorzitsky, 41 NBC News. Alrighty, thank you, Tanya. The 2020 legislative session begins Monday.